like these quests better where you just have to kill as many as they say to and you don't have them to collect because sometimes later on in the levels when you have to collect it comes to like every third one, every fourth one and whatnot. So that's really in my perspective anyway. Oh no, I totally agree. Yeah, slaughter quests are a whole lot easier than gathering. At least the ones where you have to pick up things from mobs and stuff like that. Some of them can be kind of funny too, you know, like collect the heads of, of raptors or something like that. And every third or fourth raptor will give you, your, give you their head. Hey, does it come at you like headless or what happened there? Pardon? The raptors, like some of those quests that, like say, collect raptor heads or something like that, and then you'll get a item like every third or fourth kill that you made. I mean, do the raptors come at you like headless or what's going on there when you don't be able to collect a quest item? I'm not sure. I don't really remember. Arcanon Poros. Kind to okay. those less fortunate. Gather ten lasher samples. <laughs> What we forgot to do while we were out here? What? We rescued the survivors. Smart move. I'm following you. <laughs> There's one. It should count for both of us, but if it doesn't, we can find another one around here. They're scattered around this area. Can it for me as well? Great. Want to do the other two quests or turn these ones in? No, we'll go ahead and finish up. We're headed to what must be done. There's an achievement we can get for this. So I'm going to slash love it. I'll show you the achievement. Well, I thought I was going to show you the achievement. Apparently, my achievement key is unbound. So, let me try this again. frame is Y. Hmm. That's odd. I was hitting Y and it it is not working. Is your Oh, you know what? Maybe we don't have access to the achievement log just yet. Can you open yours? No. Okay. Well that's why. So we'll continue on. I'll show you that achievement later on. Corrupted flowers. I can see Liz has already collected one. There's our first sample. This is 
There's not a flower there. Another one over there. I like the fact since uh, the original WoW where they, the starting areas were all red and some neutral I guess, and everything you'd walk around and people would attack you like crazy, the mods I mean, and uh, now everything is just neutral in here and it makes the the newbie zone a little quicker to be able to get out of it. It's a whole lot easier on you anyways. Yeah, before everything, a lot of places in the newbie zones were all hostile to you. So you were running around level one, you'd kind of get your butt handed to you while like four or five of these level threes were jumping on you. But that's not so much the case anymore. Now they're neutral, they only attack you when you attack them. You might be noticing this add-on I have right here, this little interface hub. That's called Ice Hub, and what it is is when it pops back up, I'll show you. Here it shows my health, mana, and it shows my target's health, and if they have mana rage or what have you, it'll show over here. So it's a little bit easier for me to keep an eye on my health and mana. You know, a little bit important stuff like that in their health. Okay, that was my last flower. I remember playing this a long time ago, and you try to get these little flowers, and this, these things that Jeremy and I are talking would attack you, and then you get like three on, and you die, and it's like you're just in the starting area, and bam, and there they are, and you're just trying to collect these little flowers. Oh, so aggravating. The memories of this area. <laughs> This area and the Blood Elf area was introduced in the Burning Crusade expansion. Which is probably my favorite expansion. I really enjoy it. Although, I'm starting to like Cataclysm a, a little better now. I didn't like it when it first came out, but you know, now that I'm back, it's, it's not too bad now. They've made a lot of changes anyway, so make it a whole lot easier. Seal of Righteousness. And Judgment. Nice. Okay, so we got a couple of Paladin abilities. Would you acquire now, Liz? I just got the yeah. Thank you. 
By the way, I apologize if the volume levels of our mic to wow sounds are a bit off. We'll fix those as we continue on in our episodes. I got them adjusted about as best as I could before we started, but they may be a little bit off still. We'll be able to better tell what's going on with that later on. Work complete. Uh, Jeremy, we're done the quest, but there's two more quests in Nestle Wood Hills, but we're also right now closer to turning in the quest. Do you want to go turn them in before doing the other two? Since we're right here, um, yeah, we can go ahead and turn these in and uh, train. And then we can head out there, or they may give us some more quests out here as well. Sell some of our junk Welcome. stuff. Browse at your leisure. And poof. That's a nice little add on I have called Junk Seller. Took care of all of my junk. Favor the road traveled by few. May the light embrace you. Nice. May your days be long. Got a bag. Your hardships few. Good fortune. Learn seal of righteousness. Bless okay, we fun. will. In fact, we're gonna get judgment and seal of righteousness. Ready to work. Good health, long life. And okay, now I get to show you smart buff. First, I'm gonna go ahead and put. Seal of Righteousness, we'll set it here for now. And Judgment, I like Judgment to be right there. We may move it later on. Okay, so I have Seal of Righteousness right now. This is where a Smart Buff will come in handy. Instead of having to click this, I can just scroll my mouse in or out, and it's going to apply it to me. Plus, my add-on is going to tell me when I don't have any buff supplied or anything like that. So it's a neat little add-on to have. Let me disable that and I'll go ahead and show you the set up a smart buff. The SBM, smart buff menu. As you can see right here, buff and abilities. Click this. I have it set as out of combat. Done. And in a bit, you should see this start pop popping up saying Ankh needs Seal of Righteousness. There it is right there. Okay, so I'll scroll out, and it cast it. Nifty little add-on. Mailbox. I have the core hound pup. And chili. these learn them got that can I keep him achievement out of it I know the to get the core hound pup you need to purchase an authenticator off blizzard and I forget what the chili's from I don't really you know that's that's a good question I do not remember myself I don't remember if that's from something in the Wrath of the Lich King or what really I, for, I actually forgot how you get that one Work complete. as a paladin the only way you can judge something is if you have one of your seals active so that was just a basic test uh, that that NPC gave us 
to teach us how to use our judgments.